forceps. Scalpel. Yes, another amazing, successful hot transplant, Dr. Champagne. Oh, thanks. I swear, after a while, these comments get repetitive. The next comment should be, you've been on a roll. You've been on a roll lately. I'd, I'd say, say you're the best, best surgeon, surgeon on, on this, this floor. floor. Well, let's just see how successfully the recovery goes. I feel like Dr. Champagne is the only doctor here, other than Dr. Rodriguez, of course, that does not have to fret about layoffs next week. Layoffs? Next week? You've been working here for seven years, and you still miss stuff, huh? Why would someone schedule annual layoffs? Capitalism. Scrambled eggs with extra salt and cheese. Just as you always like them. It gets rid of the flavor of egg! Uh-huh. Got any projects due for school this week? Actually, I've finally gotten a break for once. It's like all my classes collectively decided, you know what, Cory is a life outside of school, and we've really been disrespecting that notion. Now that I think about it, midterms were last week. Yep, that'll do it. Did you get any new classes this week? Yeah, I don't have French anymore. Now I have gym! Yay! Well... You could always get some pointers from Ben and your other sporty friends for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess you're right. I wonder if Ethan will help me train. So, how's Workman treating you? Oh, you know, more or less the same three lines of dialogue repeated each time. I swear, they're starting to sound like broken records. Or glitchy NPCs. Is everything okay, Sam? Ah, uh, it's... it's nothing. I'm just... A little anxious is all. Why? Well, someone at work told me that the annual layoffs are coming up soon. It's a thing that Dr. Rodriguez started doing. You may want to keep an eye on Viper Hospital. I heard they may be doing some layoffs soon. Dr. Rodriguez is going to have my ass. Alright class, listen up. This is going to be on the Psst. test. We Corey. are learning about the Roman Corey. Empire. So, the Roman Empire was- Cory! Huh? Stay off your phone. What? I, Are you okay? You're flunking the class. You've okay, all right. never looked dead ahead of a chalkboard this much before. Uh, uh, I'll tell you after class. Seriously, is everything all right? Has Jim really taken that much of a toll on your mental and physical well-being? Sam, she's getting fired! She's doing it! She's actually going to be doing it! Who is? Chelsea! On homecoming night, she threatened to get my sister fired from the hospital. And lately, Sam's been mentioning how her boss, Chelsea's dad, has been getting on her case. To make matters worse, Sam told me that their annual layoffs are coming in just a few days. Everything's pointing to Chelsea getting her dad to fire Sam and it's all my- What's this about Sam? Apparently Chelsea's trying to get her fired? Doesn't she have anything better to do than to try and ruin other people's lives? Yeah, ruin even more people's lives? With the slap at homecoming, stacked with crashing her Halloween party, this is my fault! I caused this to happen with my actions. And now it feels like there's nothing I can do. From what you've told me, Sam's really, really good at her job. They probably won't fire her out of fear of lacking efficiency and proficiency. I guess... Hey, we've got a whole day ahead of us to help distract you. Come on, let's get to our next class. That's a whole day that he could give her the call! Well, you don't really have a choice. Ben, how do you feel about skipping school? Are you kidding me? Are you trying to break your attendance records? Lino, I missed school like three times last month. <gasps> Even if I wanted to, I've got a quiz today in history that I've been studying for all week. Solo mission it is, then. No, I will keep my eye on you in the halls, mister. You're not missing another class on my watch, school skipper. You know, I had the flu. You could have just left the flu at home. I don't think that's how that works. Uh, guys? The bell? Oh, my manye, my attendance! Well, I may not be able to skip a class... But I can see about getting out of practice for a day. I don't think Coach Civils would mind too much. If I skip cheer, Chelsea will mind. A lot. But I 
don't really care, so... 3.30. At the Zendorov and Trya bus stop? 3.30. Zendorov and Trya. Don't forget to have money for the public bus. I won't. Hey, can I borrow- mm, Nope. Darn! As much as I don't think Ben and Veronica skipping their after-school events is such a good idea, it's not like I can do much to change their minds. So, how much longer do you think it'll be before they arrive? Ben just texted me a few seconds ago. They're basically right around the corner. Hey. Hey. You two ready? Yep. So, what's the plan? We're gonna take this bus to Pfeiffer Hospital and break in and save my sister's job! Cory, that's barely a rough draft! How do we get in? I guess one of us could fake an illness. Oh, I have experience with that! I see people do it on Bitblock all the time! Yeah, no. I'll volunteer to be the faker. Sis, you will stay with me as I fake my ankle being sprained. You and I will then be brought to a room where they will check on my leg. Hopefully, that'll be enough time for Cory and Lino to sneak into Chelsea's dad's office and find the file containing the list of employees he's gonna fire. And take Sam off the list. Sounds like a plan. Okay, is everyone ready? Alright, let's save Sam! Hello there, how can I help you? Come quick! My brother's ankle is sprained! Oh no! Veronica, I don't know if I'm <coughs> going to make... <gasps> ben, stay with me! You're going to be okay! I... Please! You must save my brother! He... He was going to be a professional soccer player! Well, I can pull some strings and get you a room for a check, but the wait time will be... I... I... I think I'm going to... Uh... Die. Yes! I mean, no! Oh no! He needs a doctor! Now! Well, I don't know what you want me to do about that! You have to help a patient in dire need- Is the staff really that tired to actually let us pull that off? I feel like you inherently answered your own question. Cory, that's how rhetorical questions work. Regardless, we should try to find Dr. Rodriguez's office. Do you have a guess as to where it could be? Nope. So I guess we'll have to look around for it. Come on! All right, Mr. Blue. Let's have a look-see. Oh, God. Why weren't you at cheer practice? I, uh... Where the heck even are you? The hospital? I, uh, uh yeah. I, uh, broke my leg. It's been so hard to walk. The pain is so unbearable. And if you feel like you can relate, you can't. Wait, I thought your brother was the one with a broken bone. I, uh, it just happened now! Oh no! You're gonna have to give me a bed too! <sighs> they don't pay me enough for this. A broken leg isn't an excuse. You can still make pyramids if you just don't bend it, silly. <laughs> Be here in 20 minutes! No. Alright, let's look at your leg. Oop, it magically fixed itself! Would you look at that? Us cheerleaders are such an anomaly. I quit. We've been searching for 45 minutes already! Ben and Veronica could already almost be checked out by now and they'll be looking for us before we know it! I could have sworn we went through every hallway and room! Besides... Besides... 
I totally forgot there was a whole other wing connected by the skywalk. You're joking. Well, on the bright side, once they start looking for us, they'll be looking for us on this side, not the other one. You don't know that! You're right, but I'm what they call a Perel Gaslighter. Yeah, maybe for yourself. Alright, we'll look for another five or ten minutes or so, but after that, we're out of here. Wait a minute, they only saw us come in from the west side. Now that we're on the east side, we don't need to be sneaking around. Come on! Corey? What are you doing here? We're going to save you, Sam. Save me. At my job. Y you don't understand. Chelsea Rodriguez told her- Chelsea? You know my daughter. Oh yeah, you go to her school, don't you? So you're- Sam's brother. This is worse than getting caught! Well, there goes my life. Goodbye school, goodbye home, goodbye friends! They'll be firing Sam and reporting us for sneaking in and it's all Chelsea's fault! Sam's told me many things about your close bond as siblings. I'm guessing you're here to visit her then. I... uh-huh? Oh? And you must be... Oh, what was it? lin -O? Uh, it's Lino, sir. Huh. Right, Mrs. Rose's daughter. You live down in Canary Lake Estates, too, right? Across the street from the Perrys? Yep, sure do. Ah, look at the time. Got an important meeting in a few minutes. Sam, good luck with that operation later. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So what's all this business about saving me? Okay. So, something happened at homecoming between me and Chelsea, and it sounded like she was threatening to have you fired, and then we crashed her Halloween party, so I was afraid she was gonna double down on it, not to mention you said something about Dr. Rodriguez being in her case a while back, and so when you mentioned the layoffs, I got worried that maybe they were gonna fire you, and, and, and- Oh, slow your roll there, little bro. Come on. Let me take you aside for a bit. So... You were worried that with layoffs coming up, I might have lost my job because of some bully from school? You've got it all twisted, baby bro. No, I'm not gonna be fired. Although, I've got something important to tell you. That, however, can be saved for when I get home. Speaking of which, was it just you two who snuck in here? Uh, no. Ben and Veronica came with us. Ben faked having his ankle sprained. Huh. I guess that's one way to distract hospital staff. Tell you what, you two call them up and tell them to meet you at the entrance to the East Wing. I'll guide you two out as if you were patients, and if you agree to never do this again, I won't tell the Roses and Mrs. Blue about this. Sound fair? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. This way, you goofy kids. You guys head home. I'll be there by six at the latest, alright, Corey? Okay. Bye, Sam. So, mission accomplished? Well, she was never on the list to begin with, so I'd say yes? Cool. Well, if that wraps things up, we just gotta wait for the bus. Wait, I didn't bring any money for the way back? <clears throat> Ma'am? I need to get on this bus now. Miss, that will be seven bucks. I need to get on this bus now. Uh, my, my leg is broken. Oh, no. Oh, owie, owie. The hospital's right there. Why don't you? Ma'am, I need to get on this bus. I need to see the seven bucks. Ma'am, I need to get on this bus. Wow. Veronica's learned to successfully impersonate both an Emily and a Karen. Maybe she can even get a part-time job at Karen's. Ah, oh, you're home! I- Not now, Chelsea. But- Not now. I need some iced coffee. Mom's upstairs if you- I know. She messaged me on the way home.
Oh, uh, I, I aced my quizzes today. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, me and the gals are gonna go out tomorrow and buy that new model of magenta phone. That's nice. Ugh. Will you finally be eating with mom and I tonight? Or are you once again too busy to be there? No siree, Dr. Champine. You are not getting fired. You deserve that promotion. Guess the super talent runs in the pure heart bloodline after all. <laughs>